in this example, we'll be using the weighted average method to calculate overtime. So for this problem, you own a company where an employee acts as supervisor for $20 an hour, washes floors at $15 an hour, and empties trash for $10 an hour. In a work week, the employee supervised for 20 hours, washed floors for 20 hours, and emptied trash for 20 hours. What is the employee's gross pay? So first we have to calculate the number of supervisor hours multiplied by the supervisor hourly rate. So the supervisor hours, he supervised for 20 hours a week, and the supervisor hourly rate was $20 an hour. And so, and there's already a formula in here, but I'll go ahead and key it just so you can see um, the formula to enter. So total standard supervisor compensation is going to be supervisor hours multiplied by the supervisor hourly rate which is going to be $400 for total supervisor compensation. So now let's look at the amount of hours that the employee washed floors. So the employee washed floors for 20 hours and his rate for washing floors is $15 an hour. And this formula was already in the cell. So we just multiply the hours washing floors of 20 by the floor, by the floor washer weight of $15 an hour. And this total pay for washing floors is $300. So now we have to calculate the hours emptying trash. So for, so for emptying trash, he emptied trash for 10 hours. And the rate for emptying trash is $10 an hour. And so when you multiply 10 hours by $10 an hour, this equals $100. And so total street time comp compensation, so we just add all of the totals together. So, and I'll del delete the formula just to demonstrate. So we want the total supervisor compensation plus the total floor washing compensation plus the compensation for emptying the trash. And so that equals $800. Okay, so now we have to calculate his um, regular hourly rate so we can calculate um, his overtime rate. So we know that um, his total stream time compensation is $800, so this cell is just set to equal the cell up here. So now we have to grab his total hours worked, and we can actually just add up the hours worked here. So we know that he has 20 supervisor hours plus 20 hours washing floors and 10 hours emptying trash. So that's a total of $50. Now to get his regular hourly rate, we have to take his total straight time compensation and divide it by total hours worked. So it's 800 divided by 50, and that's going to be $16. Okay, so now that we have his regular hourly rate, which is um, um, this cell is set to equal the regular hourly rate in step two. So now step three, we have to calculate the overtime rate. So it's going to be $16 multiplied by time and a half. And we'll just key in that formula here, $16 times time and a half. So that equals an over overtime rate of 24 hours. Okay, so now that we have that, we have to calculate his total straight time. And so straight time is going to be a maximum amount of 40 hours a, a week because anything over 40 is overtime. So we have um, our $16, which is already set to equal cell D11, the amount that we calculate in step two, times 40 hours. And again, I'll just go ahead and, um, and key in the formula just so you can see what we're doing. So this is going to be $16 times 40 hours, and that equals $640. So now we can calculate his overtime rate. So for this, you can either key in $24 or you can um, grab the amount in cell, in cell D15. So we calculated his overtime rate in step three, so that's the amount that we're gonna use here in step five. So you're gonna take his overtime rate and his overtime hours. So we know that the total hours worked that we, that we added in step two is 50 hours and so Anything over 40 hours is going to be classified as overtime uh, as according to federal law. So that equals um, 10 hours of overtime. And you can actually uh, make this a formula here if you would like.
So we know that he worked 50 hours minus 40 hours, so that equals 10 hours of overtime. And this is our, our already set to a formula. So we have $24 times $10 of, uh, times 10 overtime hours, which equals $240. Okay, and so now we have a straight time compensation. And I'll just go ahead and rekey the formulas here as well, just so you can see what we're doing. So for the straight time compensation, we're going to we're going to want to make this equal to the amount that we calculated in step four, the 16 hours times his 40 hours. So that's going to be our total straight time comp compensation. And then our total overtime compensation is going to be the amount that we calculated in step five, um, his overtime rate of $24 multiplied by his overtime hours. And then the sum of these is going to be the total compensation. So we have $640 plus $640. So total compensation for this employee is $880.